Mr. Robert Flame, a pastor's pastor, doesn't know squat about the basics of law. And if he tried to, you know, practice law in a court, he would be just barred and probably thrown in jail. Mr. Theme portrayed God as though God was like a stupid, corrupt human. Now, Mr. Theme has the doctrine that God has omniscience. He knows everything, always did know everything, all that is knowable. Really? Does God, who knows all things, know how to prosecute a simple criminal case? Yes or no? Is Robert Thames God aware of the principle that the evidence shall decide the case, not the word of the judge? Does Robert Thames God also know that absolutely everything to do with the case and all false arguments must be proven false? Does Mr. Thames God also know that when you try a case, you will try absolutely everything so that it is proven by evidence? and it is undeniable, the verdict, and that it is unappealable. Uh, which is the best way to try a case, do you think? Hmm? Partially, to where it can be appealed, or fully and completely, where no appeal can be possible? Now, you can ask Mr. Thiem, of course, he's dead, <clears throat> or uh, any of his deadhead followers, what's the best way to try a case? Fully and completely, examining every argument and every avenue of defense, proving every argument that Satan could make to be a lie in the first trial? Or is it the best way to try a case to basically, I don't know, try most of the evidence and most of the arguments and then render a verdict based on your word because it sure as hell ain't based on the evidence. And then Satan appeals and the appeal was granted because you didn't try what was in his appeal. You could ask Mr. Seam, but he's dead. Or any of his deadhead followers, or genetic offspring, you can ask him what's the best way to try a case. Should a lawful case in a court of law be decided by evidence? Or should it be decided by the judge's word when uh, not all the evidence is in, so that it then could be appealed uh, by Satan using arguments that haven't been tried? But yet God has omniscience. He knows all things and always did. Always did know all that's knowable. But he screws up the first criminal trial of Satan. He doesn't try all the evidence and the facts and actually the way Mr. Theme spoke and his stupid followers too is that God decided the case based on his word. That takes a little faith, don't you think? So God expected Satan to have faith. Fascinating. And wouldn't that be the elect angels too? God is expecting the elect angels to have faith that Satan is guilty because God uh, didn't bother to prove irrefutably that Satan was guilty. And so God sentences Satan to the lake of fire when he hasn't actually been proven guilty. So what is the standard of Robert Thurman and his church and his deadhead followers and his genetic offspring? What is their standard of how to arrive at a verdict? to partially try the case and then decide it based on your word because you're too damn lazy to provide all the evidence and disprove all the arguments and lies that the defense would raise. Well, it seems to me that Mr. T didn't know a damn thing about the law or how to prosecute a case. When two intelligent parties disagree and neither of them are stupid or ignorant, they are calling each other a liar in a court of law. And you see, this questioning God's word, which is calling God a liar, calling into question God's veracity, that's calling him a liar. And that's granted as an appeal? Because you see, Mr. Thiem, who happens to be dead, and his deadhead followers, and his genetic offspring, they have God deciding a case that hasn't been proven by the facts and evidence. He's deciding a case based on his word. And yet he has omniscience, and he knows that he hasn't apparently established <laughs> the verdict as being legally true by facts and evidence. And so God does what he knows is not actually lawful or meets the standard of law and judgments and verdicts. They portrayed God as being pretentious, as going through the appearance of being lawful, rendering a verdict that is not legally acceptable. It's not based on facts and evidence, and it's actually a refutable verdict. 
And they don't see a little legal problem there? They don't see a little problem with the standards of law there? When two intelligent parties disagree, and none, neither one of them is stupid or ignorant, they're calling each other a liar to begin with. And you see, the mere presence of Satan being a legal opponent of God has Satan calling into question God's word and God's veracity. For when God says, this is the truth, and Satan says, no, this is the truth, Satan is calling God a liar. Satan did that right to begin with. Satan called God a liar to begin with. Maybe Mr. Seam, who's dead, uh, his deadheads, and maybe his genetic offspring who's standing in the pulpit, might want to exegete First John. Go ahead. He who sins calls God a liar. He who says, this is the truth, and it is not, they are calling God a liar. When Satan rebelled, Satan accused God of what Satan himself is actually guilty of. Satan was acting outside the bounds of law, and he's been accusing God of acting outside the bounds of law ever since. And Robert Thiem, uh, his deadhead followers, and his genetic offspring have been doing the same thing that Satan's been doing all along, which is portraying God as operating outside the bounds of law, violating the standards of law. Does God operate by the force of law or by brute force? If the evidence doesn't decide the case, and the word of the judge does without evidence, that's the judge insisting on it based on his own preference and word and not on the evidence. That's called brute force. When they have God deciding the case based on his word, that's him insisting on his own way and not insisting on the principal legal standard where the evidence decides the case. They'll say, Satan's will is uh, not to have uh, uh, humanity sin. Uh, Satan's will is to have humanity and clean up, uh, to have the church go around and clean up the devil's world and all that kind of stuff. All that hogwash. No, it's Satan's will to have believers portray God as though he were unjust. And they do it to the fullest extent possible through Robert Thiem, who's dead, and his deadhead followers and his genetic offspring who have to be standing at the pulpit portraying God as violating the law, being unjust. So when two intelligent parties disagree, they're neither one of them suffering from ignorance, they're calling each other a liar. The first thing Satan did was to reject the word of God when Satan rebelled against God. And you see, for Satan to not hold God as the authority, Satan is rejecting God as the authority. All that stuff occurred in the original trial, in the original rebellion. And so, Robert Thiem doesn't know any more about law than Jack Black on crack. But he's dead. But, you know, his deadhead followers are still around. Maybe they'll build an altar to him. Or maybe his genetic offspring will.